Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at another problem in our ARI series, which is called maximum consecutive words. Pay heed to this problem because this is a very common and very popular interview problem. All right, which comes in coding round. So let's uh, first let's talk about the description of this problem. So basically, what this problem uh, asks is basically you are given a boolean array which contains uh, 0 and 1 only right and there can be like many ones in it right and there can be like many consecutive ones and there could be a 0 between them and then there could be like a series of 1 and then there could be a 0 so what you have to tell is that the maximum ones in that array for suppose um, in our first uh, example, there are these, this, this series of ones, then there is this series of ones, right? Then there is a breakage, then there is a series, and there is a breakage, right? So, you have to tell me uh, the maximum consecutive ones. See here, how many ones are there? And here, how many ones are there? Three. So, maximum consecutive ones is obviously going to be three. And output is three. Similarly, in this case, this is the corner case where all the numbers of an array are this one. So, what would be the output? Four. Right. And in this, this part, there is also corner case where there is no one. Right, all are zeros. So what would be the output? Simply zero. Right. So this is basically. So this is you know this. My bad. Yeah. So okay. Let's do this. Okay. So this is basically what we have to do in this question. All right. So you can like think of two approaches all right what you can do is uh, in a live solution what you can do is with every element like suppose for this element you can uh, have another loop which will run from this element till here and you will count the maximum ones it can find right Suppose for this element it is 0. Since this element is 0, we won't consider this. Now we will come here. This element is 1. Now we will have a, another iterator i, a j, which will run from this part till this part. Let me clear a bit. Okay, yeah. We have an iterator i here. Since array i is 1, we'll have another iterator j which will run from i plus 1 till this part all right now we'll uh, run this loop till n and we'll increase the count if we find 1 like here we found 1 right but here since we found 0 we'll just break out of the loop using break all right I have not written the nice solution because I want you guys to try and run and try to execute this nice solution so you can get a better uh, grip on this thing. Right. Now you come to this thing, you find that there are that, that this number is zero, so you won't have a J loop. I will come here, you'll see that one is what? Um, uh, one is like this element is one so you will run a loop for i plus one that means from here till here so for every one you are going to increment and at this point you will just break the loop right? so this is you know the basic solution nice solution in this you have you you will use two loops one of i one of j and these would be nested loops 
so the time complexity would be big O of n square right now pause the video and try and think of a solution which can be done in big O of n time okay do okay my bad sorry for that right so let's talk about the efficient approach so what we are going to do here is we are going to have two variables one is res and one is square so what we are going to do here is we are going to run loop from first element till last element and what we are going to do here is that if we find element as zero we'll put cur as zero we'll reset the value of cur initially cur is going to be zero this is also going to be zero and if we find a number like called a one we'll increase our cur all right what we are going to do is we are going to do this thing right and what we are going to do is we are going to have res as max of res and per like every time we find a one we are going to do this thing so here we found a one we used cur cur is one now maximum of res and cur is uh, cur obviously so our res also become one now we come here cur becomes two it has also become true now we come here as soon as we encounter a zero what we are going to do we are going to reset the value of cur now cur becomes zero now we will come here we found a one our cur becomes one now we check this is equal to max of the two and one which is two so this is still two we will come here this will become 2 this will become x of 2 and 2 which is 2 now this will come here curve will become 3 now this would become 3 now we would come here so our curve will become 0 and see that's it okay. right so this was you know the efficient approach okay um, let's um, try and code this thing. Okay. Um, let's open. We will show the code. Let's include header file. User name space std. We have a name. Let's have an array. Okay. Add our initial one zero one one zero triple one zero. Right. Zero one one zero triple one zero. Okay. Next and has how many elements? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Okay. Let's name our variable as count one. We're going to have R and M. Let's make a C. Okay. Now let's make our int count one function. Will have in TRR and size of it. What did I tell you? We'll have two variables, then a zero, cara zero. We'll run a loop for and i is equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus. Now, what did I tell you? If a r r i. 
uh, is is equal to zero. So we will do have twelve dot curl value as zero. Else, what we are going to have here is we are going to increase curl value, and we are going to have res as max of res or curl. Okay. And then we are just going to simply return res, right? So that was all for this code. Let's um, try and run it. See, that is our desired output. Let's check it for call cases I as well let's have it one 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 and we'll have n as four now let's run it four right what is the desired solution let's zero comma zero comma zero so let's three something zero yeah so that is our desired output so um, yeah that was all for this question it is we again discussed two solutions one taking big of n square time and one taking big o of n time and this is a very popular yet easy uh, interview question all right so you may be like prepared for such questions also okay so uh, yeah that's it for this video and see you later thank you